I move my hands, it translates to um, very precise movement of the instruments I'm holding. You have the ability to completely turn your wrist 360 degrees, which the human hand couldn't do. Well, I'm a urologist, so I handle problems with the kidneys, bladder, prostate, um, and do a combination of work in the office and surgery as well. Robotic surgery is uh, it's a tool for being able to do minimally invasive or what we call keyhole surgery. When I put my eyes in, I can see everything magnified ten times as large as it really is. And I can also see everything in 3D because it's binocular vision. So it's as close to actually being able to be inside the human body as you could imagine. I did play a lot of video games growing up, so I think that helped uh, with the learning curve a little bit. This is a penny, and you can see every little detail of the penny that you'd never see with the naked eye. And in, in the same way, you can see every little detail of, of the inside of the human body, which really makes our ability to do good, precise surgery much better. Here at the hospital right now, we have about a dozen doctors that are using it, and that ranges from urologists like me to gynecology to uh, cardiac surgeons and to general surgery. And there are different applications, um, and, and the applications are being expanded. A lot of the traditional surgeries are now being approached through a minimally invasive way, and um, it's catching on in that a lot of surgeons are learning to, to do these surgeries that are a lot less invasive. I have a very strong family history of, of cancer. My sister actually has had cancer twice. So my physicians have been watching me very closely. Um, I've been very healthy. I had absolutely no symptoms, but um, unfortunately a small growth did show. My physician, as, as he was telling me my options, um, said that I was a candidate for the robotic surgery. One of my biggest concerns was that I live alone and I live on a second floor in a condominium and I have two pets and um, you know was very concerned about my recovery and, and who's going to take care of me and the thing that was so amazing is that I was able to go home the very next day and um, actually had to turn friends and family away because I just didn't need help. I could take care of myself by myself. So that was huge to me in making the choice for robotic surgery. I've been doing minimally invasive and robotic cardiac and thoracic surgery, I guess since about 2005. If there's a way that I can work in the robot or minimally invasive techniques to get people out of the hospital faster, then um, that's I guess what I'm looking for toward the future. Yeah. With robotic surgery, you can make smaller incisions. I've had people go leave the hospital within several days versus a week. Definitely for people who do work or have an active lifestyle, they're back to doing mostly everything they want to do within two to four weeks versus sometimes six to 12 weeks with, with open surgery. And so we see a change with robotics, both with the speed that they get better, how soon they're off pain medicine, how soon they feel like they're back to normal. I feel fantastic. I am physician liaison for Sarasota Memorial, so I've been very much in the know of when the technology has, has come to our facility, uh, as well as been a part of learning about it and marketing it. But now that it's, it's become one of the choices in, in my own life, um, I feel that I can even speak more about it firsthand on how wonderful this is. Thank you.